I need to respond to this message that I got um, in response to Greenwood Talks 24. Um, I, I think maybe I didn't choose my words very well and and so I really wanted to get to this and so I'm actually posting this out of order because I think this response is a little more important than my usual first come first serve sort of thing. So um, this anonymous person said with regards to Greenwood Talks 24, I have a tendency to photoshop photos of myself when I post. Nothing major, I keep my appearance the same. I just get rid of any blemishes and play with contrast, brightness, blur to make myself look nicer. Am I a bad person for doing this? No, darling, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Um, I, I didn't mean to sort of make it sound as though um, using those tools is, is a bad thing. What I find is bad is the fact that um, we're expected to have to do that in order to look good. Um, the fact that we never see a beautiful man or a beautiful woman just as themselves. You know, makeup is supposed to accentuate things, but... And, and Photoshop, of course, can be used for the same thing, which is what you're using it for, and I think that's perfectly fine. It's just a digital type of makeup, in my opinion. Um, but what I think is harmful is sort of the mass marketing of... It's not just smoothing out a thing here or there, it's it's completely changing body proportions and then selling that as what the ideal should be. And I think there's something potentially harmful about saying the only way that you can be worthwhile is if you meet this expectation that isn't even achievable by the model. It has to be manufactured using all these tools and, and digital manipulation. Um, and, and I think that's what's harmful. It's not sort of little things to make yourself look better. Um, it, it's sort of the um, industrialized manipulation of, of, um, of, of the form in order to sell a product. And it's usually used by making you feel bad that you can't achieve it. And, and it's because they take an unrealistic model that no one can achieve, and then they go, look, even though you're gorgeous, you're not really like this, so buy my products that will not even get you to that point because I had to do it with digital manipulation. So I think that's where it becomes harmful, is, is when you're using it um, sort of to, to put other people down. Now, if you were, you decided that you were going to Photoshop yourself then or whatever, that's that's fine. You're not telling people do this or you're not worthwhile. It's, it's um, you know, I think sometimes it's a, it's a bit of a fine line if you really get into it too much. Um, but what I really have the problem with is just the way that it's used as this vehicle for selling things that are not necessary and for making people who are beautiful feel bad about themselves, like they don't measure up. And, um, you know, it's, it's part of why. Um, I I really have been against a lot of um, sort of the fashion industry for a while, even though I absolutely love fashion. It's one of those things that I do care very much for, but I've seen a lot of people just sort of killing themselves over reaching these ideals that aren't possible. They're, they're physically impossible to reach. And, and I think that's really where the harm comes in. So, no, you're definitely not a bad person for doing that. As I say, I've used glamour a little bit here, there, to, to accentuate my appearance. And it's the same thing, you're just doing it digitally. And I don't think there's anything wrong with that, darling. I mean, it's like wearing clothes that make your figure look um, thinner or, or make you look taller. It's, it's just sort of taking what's there and just presenting yourself as the best um, or just as, as you want to be seen, and that's, there's nothing wrong with that. I'm not trying to say that, that it's false advertisement or anything like that. I absolutely believe that it's a load of poppycock, and I really just, um, it's really just the big industries that are using it in such a negative way that bother me. So, darling, I'm, I'm so sorry if you felt any doubt or felt bad, and I'm sorry that I was gone on vacation and I couldn't respond to this any sooner, but... Um, but no, it's it's perfectly fine. Please, please do whatever makes you feel good about yourself. That's really what this is about. And, um, and, and you're a beautiful person, so don't feel like you can't do what's going to make you feel that way. Um, and I'm sorry if my words hurt you. I really am. So, um, my apologies, darling.